Welcome to part 4 of 4 3 Forbidden's video tutorials on Auto IT scripting. In this tutorial, I'm going to be going over loops if loops, while loops, for loops, and do loops. These four types of loops are used to repeat something or do something if a certain thing does or does not equal another thing. Allow me to demonstrate. First, I'm going to be going, going over an if loop. Here's how it works. What this does is it sets dollar sign var to be 1. And then it says, if dollar sign var equals 1, then pop up a message box that says hiya in the title and hello in the text. If var equals 0, this message box will not run. If it equals 1, though, it will run. Allow me to show you. If it's set to 1, it opens up. If it's set to 0, nothing happens nothing at all. You can also set an if loop to be a little bit shorter by going like this. Keeping it on the same line will um, keep it shorter and make your script smaller. You can only do this though if there's only one function after then. It will still work exactly the same. This is a very useful loop if you have a certain parameter, or a, I'm sorry, a certain variable that is something, and you need to have something happen based on that. It is used quite a bit. Let's also go into a do loop. What this does is it sets dollar sign var to be 3. Let's just call that variable from now on. And it says do the certain thing until variable equals 1. In the do loop, we have it pop up a message box that says hello, hello. And then it sets the variable to be itself minus 1. So when this runs, variable will go from 3 down to 2, because 3 plus minus 1 is 2. So, if we run this, the message box should pop up twice, or three times, I forget quite which one what it'll do, and then it will finish the script. Let's try it. One, two, just two times. Because variable, the variable equals three. It opens up the message box, but then it becomes two. It opens up the message box, then it becomes one. And then var equals one, so it exits the loop. If you set this to two, it will just happen once. If you set it to 1, it won't happen at all. Oh. Oh, sorry. It will happen. And it'll happen because... Well, it'll happen forever. Because dollar sign $var equals 1. It pop ups, pops up the message box. And then variable will equal 0. It doesn't equal 1. So then it'll do it again and equal negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, so on and so forth. Because of this, the message box will go on indefinitely. Now, let's go on into a while loop.
This is about the same thing as the do loop, just in a different fashion. This says variable equals 3, while the variable does not equal 1, which is, um, which is these two signs just put together. While variable does not equal 1, pop up a message box, and then make variable be itself minus 1. Once it becomes 1, though, it will exit the loop. Therefore, it'll come up 1 two times. Again, if we set this to 2, it will open up once. And if we set it to 1, it... Now let's see, what will it do? It won't happen at all, because if var variable equals 1, while the variable does not equal 1, do the stuff. But variable does equal 1, so it simply skips the loop. Let's go on to a for loop. I'm going to pause the video for a minute while I type this stuff in. Alright, this is cut almost directly from the AutoIT help file, but that's okay. What this states is dollar sign var er, variable equals 5. 4 variable equals 5, 2, 1, step, minus 1. Countdown, variable, next. Message box, blast off. What that means, if you look into the help file, it says the first thing, variable, is the variable used for the count. By the way, this is used for counting down a certain thing. So, variable equals 5. So, we want the variable to go from 5 to 1, and have the step be minus 1 every time. So what this does is it sets variable to be 5, and then it open the, opens up the message box. The text being the data that the variable holds. Then it does it again. This time variable equals 4, because the step is negative 1. So it says countdown, 4. Then it goes to 3, 2, 1. Once it reaches 1, it continues, since the number after 2, right here, is 1. After that finishes, it opens up a message box that says blast off. Let's run it and see how it works. 5, 4, whoops. 3, 2, 1, blast off. Again, it is simply counting down the variable, setting it to be 4, 3, 2, and 1, and putting it inside the message box right here. If we set the step to be negative 2, and set this to be 6, it would go 6, 4, 2, actually, this would have to be set to 7. It would go 7, 5, 3, 1, and then it would say blast off. Let's try it. 7, 5, 3, 1, blast off. It does this because we changed step to be negative 2, which means it counts down minus 2 at a time. This is very useful for counting things down. You can also make this in a do loop, but it's much more complicated. The for loop is very, very useful. Thank you for watching 403 Forbidden's Auto IT tutorial number 4. In the next tutorial, we'll be going over how to make a message box do something once a button is pushed. Thank you, and I'll see you in tutorial number 5.